Hello there. I thought I'd make a second video while I'm in the mood and keen and interested. Um, I read quite a lot of history books, so this video is going to be about The Silk Roads, A New History of the World by Peter Frankopan. Really good book, highly recommend it. Before I talk about the book, just want to mention the shop where I bought it. Um, it's, the, it's because of these guys that I got it. Daunt Books, 61 Cheapside, London, EC2. So I picked up this book because uh, it caught my attention in the window. Um, I've always been interested in the Silk Road, uh, Voyages of Marco Polo. Um, I like any books with conquest, empires, battles, and those sort of things described. So um, I, I stopped and saw it said A New History of the World, and I thought that sounded really interesting. Um, Daily Telegraph, according to the back of the cover, says the time is ripe for this new history of the world, which places the emphasis firmly on the East, from Eastern Europe to India and China, a journey along the Silk Road from the birth of the world's ancient religions to contemporary international politics. So I've been to China last year on holiday, an interest in China, and uh, obviously there's a lot of talk about China being resurgent and an important economy in the world. So I thought this was a good book to buy. Thoroughly enjoyed it. In fact, struggled to put it down. Um, Peter Frankopan, the author, is a senior research fellow at Worcester College, Oxford, and director of the Centre for Byzantine Research at Oxford University. So if I was um, going to study history as a, as a student, that's where I'd be heading because I think the author is really switched on, really interesting, and issued some sort of challenging views of the world. Clearly, um, I suppose in Britain, most of us grow up learning about world history from a British perspective. Um, certainly when I was at school in the 80s, it was all about Britain conquering half of the world and turning the map pink and how brilliant everything that Britain did was. Um, and I think that uh, this rewriting of the history and placing more emphasis on China, Central Asia, uh, the Arab world, as well as obviously the European maritime empires is really interesting and adds a, adds a different insight. So um, thank you very much to Peter for writing an excellent book, I've really enjoyed it. I'd recommend anyone else with a, an interest in history and a non-exclusively British perspective on history to pick up the book and uh, buy it.